My name is Paweł Kolasa. In this video, I am proving that the Earth is motionless center of the universe. Centrifugal force on the equator. Uh, if the Earth revolved, the centrifugal force uh, would cause people to wait uh, twice less on equator than, for example, in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, the equation for centrifugal force is uh, this, as you can see. This is uh, force, centrifugal, mass, velocity squared, over radius. <coughs> you can calculate it for yourself. Put your weight as mass, uh, velocity is uh, 1666 kilometers an hour at the Earth's uh, surface. The radius is uh, 6378 kilometers. Mass is obviously not your weight, uh, as mass is uh, how much matter there is in an, in an object. But if you really care about the concept of mass, uh, take it up with uh, physicists uh, who uh, put mass in equations, then substitute weight for, for it in kilograms. So that's the problem. Uh, or just look it up in Wikipedia and don't ask me stupid questions. Uh, the, cent the centrifugal force uh, would affect the weight of objects uh, on Earth greatly. Uh, we would be tr uh, transporting gold and diamonds from the uh, equator where it would weigh uh, less and selling it up north uh, or south for two times uh, the price since uh, that would uh, weigh much more up north or, or south due to centrifugal force. Um, another issue, sa satellites. The satellites have no engine yet once brought uh, up to the orbit they start going around the earth on their own because the spa er space around the Earth is revolving around it, otherwise they, they would just drop. <coughs> Even a can of Coca-Cola will become the satellite of the Earth if it was placed on the orbit. Again, for no reason it would start going around the Earth? No, that's because the, the, the space around the Earth is revolving around it, so a can of Coca-Cola or satellites without an engine would start going around the Earth. And that's also why the Moon is going around the Earth. Another proof that satellites uh, provide is the fact that they keep on orbiting the Earth on the same height despite the, the supposed travel of the Earth through the space. If the Earth was traveling through the space, the satellites would have to constantly adjust their speed in order to keep up with the Earth uh, when going behind it, and then they would have to adjust again when they would be in front of the Earth. Uh, astronomers uh, also observe that the universe is expanding away from the Earth in all directions with the same speed. Uh, that proves that uh, the universe started from the Earth. That's the only way it could, it could be this way. Uh, there are millions of life forms on Earth, each unique in design and purpose, yet there is not a single life form observed anywhere in the known universe, and we can see pretty much billions and trillions of stars. Uh, that supports the theory of creation because it claims that the universe was uh, created starting from the Earth. And since God doesn't make mistakes because he is perfect, he wouldn't have to adjust the Earth's position but by putting it then somewhere else, moving it away from the center. He doesn't make those mistakes. If he wanted to put it somewhere else, he would already put it somewhere else. If the Earth revo revolved, the resulting uh, difference in speed of revolving Earth and the stationary atmosphere around the Earth would create winds few times bigger than tornadoes. Some physicists uh, speculate that the atmosphere would revolve with the Earth together, but this is simply not possible due to different density of the Earth and different density of the atmosphere. The Earth is much harder than the atmosphere. Um, mm, the Earth is 100 times uh, denser, therefore diluted atmosphere would never speed up to keep up with the Earth to go through the space. It's the same principle like smoking a cigarette and walking away from its smell. Once you smoke cigarette and you don't like the smell, smell you can just walk around, walk away. The, the cigarette uh, gas, the smell, is uh, less denser than you and viscosity of it is um, not big, therefore uh, the smell won't chase you. Uh, to put it in layman's word, words, uh, you can pee in the lake and walk away from it because the pee is of less lesser density and viscosity than you. 
and it simply won't stick to you. The atmosphere doesn't stick to the Earth either. It's just loosely held by the gravity. If the Earth was uh, really traveling through the universe and those supposed uh, enormous speeds, the atmosphere would be left behind almost instantly. And the gravity of the atmosphere toward the Earth is a very weak force compared to the force uh, needed to stick to, to the Earth at high speeds. The universe is a system without borders or any system of reference. 